If you do a web search for puncture proof bike tires, it's very hard to not come by the Continental Ride Tour. I've been using this tire for the past two and a half years and uh, I've been using them for commuting. In fact, I am going through my second set of tires at the rear. Uh, I only changed them about two or three months ago and I'm going to give you my long-term review of the Continental Ride Tour. So as I said, I have been using these tires for about two and a half years now and I ride around 60 miles or 100 kilometers uh, a week and they have been really really good and uh, really useful especially compared to the tires that this bicycle this Merida Speeder came with the Maxxis detonator I had a I had a puncture uh, the very first day or the second day that I got it and I wasn't even riding it it was parked under a bush and uh, a torn pierced it like these have been really amazing I've been using them mainly on urban roads but I also uh, ride some light gravel and some single track and in urban roads you can think of cobblestones you can think of potholes curbs you name it they've been really amazing so I'm going to give you uh, about six points I think uh, I have six point six really good reasons why you should get this tire uh, but there are also a few negatives that I found and I'm going to give you those as well so you can make, make up your mind and, and and figure out whether this is a tire that you should get the first pro is that these tires are really durable they have about six to seven thousand miles in them the first one the front one the rear one was changed about 500 miles ago and so but it was it was really amazing I never had a single puncture uh, with these tires so I didn't replace the rear one because it was uh, it was giving me trouble it was only showing some signs of wear and I said well it's it's better to change it before it gets too late so I am 80 or 82 kilograms so I'm a medium heavy rider and I ride with panniers which sometimes can be pretty heavy so they get a lot of use uh, and a lot of uh, abuse the second pro is that these tires offer really good puncture resistance so they have this belt this puncture resistant belt running uh, in the in the tire which uh, prevent sharp objects from penetrating through uh, the, the tire wall so I've ridden over gr glass with it, sharp rocks, and I never had to deal with a puncture. The next thing I love about these tires is how versatile they are. So they can be ridden uh, on paved roads as well as single track or gravel because they have that little, ele little elevated surface in the middle so you can be running quite fast uh, with little rolling resistance right in the middle of the tire and they also have uh, the treads which come in really handy when you take them off-road they offer really good grip and um, and really good traction so that's the third thing i have really loved about these the next thing i love about this tire is that they offer really good value for money uh, these are one of the cheaper tires available among puncture resistant tires but honestly I don't think you find anything quite the value the next thing I love about these tires is the reflective sidewalls if you shine light on the tire at night uh, it has this white stripe and it just reflects bounces the light back uh, so it's very safe if a, if a car is coming uh, from the side they can see you because the side walls reflect the lights back the light back really good and then the next thing I love about this uh, tire is that it's a, it's a 32 millimeter tire and it has 
plenty of air volume that it absorbs most of the shake coming from the, the road and the, the road buzz is not, it doesn't become an issue. As this bike doesn't have a front suspension, having that little bit of extra uh, cushy uh, tire is a nice thing to have. Now, as I said, uh, there is a few cons uh, when it comes to the Continental Ride Tour. And one of the cons is that it's quite hard to put it on the rim. In fact, a friend of mine bought the exact same tire and he found it so hard to put it on that he asked for some help. So as we were putting it on and we were making all the effort that we could, uh, I accidentally um, punctured his inner tube uh, because it got pinched between the tire lever and the tire. So that was, um, that was a bit unfortunate, but once it's on, it's really uh, solid. The next thing is that I heard that there are some quality issues that not everybody gets a really good quality tires. Now, I don't know if this is because they sell so many and they have quality assurance issues or it's just the nature of the beast that whatever, like 1% or half a percent of the tires uh, are defective, but you could get unlucky and end up with a tire that you're not completely satisfied with. Now, if you buy it on Amazon, you send it back and you can buy the same tire again. And uh, hopefully next time you don't get unlucky. The third thing I am not completely impressed with is that after some use, the side walls of the tire get a little bit cracked. Now, it doesn't affect the riding and it doesn't affect the puncture resistance, at least not uh, according to what I have experienced and seen, but it's definitely noticeable. You can see some cracks on the sidewall. So should you buy these tires for your commuting and cycling needs? Well, if you don't mind the extra effort that you have to spend putting on the tires, if you don't mind the fact that you don't have a super light racing tire, but a very durable, uh, puncture resistant, quite versatile, uh, inexpensive and super safe tire, then yes, I would wholeheartedly recommend these tires. If you like this kind of content, give the video a thumbs up and come and visit my channel because I have other cycling videos there that might be of interest to you. And I hope to see you in the next one. This has been Sam from Bike Commuter Hero. Pedal on, take care. Bye bye.